let us analyze moose population on an isolated island in Lake Superior. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we have taken a very important example for curve sketching. It is a real life situation where the population is being modeled in a confined habitat. We are talking about moose population in the Isle of Royal Island. This is an island on the biggest lake here in North America, the Lake Superior. Now, in this island, uh, there are a lot of moose. Wolf moved in a few years ago, and then uh, there was a study on counting the number of wolf and the moose. So, based on that, you'll find many questions in uh, many different places, and in many test questions are based on this information. So, what I have done here is written my own function, which really does not uh, depict the correct data, but almost, okay. So, the question here is, moose population P on Isle Royal Island T years after 2010 is modeled as P equals to 2500 over 1 plus 4 e to the power of minus 0 0.1 T. The pictures which you show, uh, which are shown here, are taken by me when I was traveling Nova Scotia. So, so that's the female moose there and the male moose, the biggest antelope on the earth. Okay, so the questions are: Given this function, p equals to twenty-five hundred over one plus four e to the power of minus zero point one t, you need to find. What was the population in the year 2010, which we will say is the initial population, right? In which year the population reached 2000? So, you need to learn how do we evaluate a given expression. C. Find the growth rate of the population in the year 2020. So, means analyze the first derivative of population function given to us. In which year was the growth rate of population maximum? Now, this is a very important question. When was the growth rate maximum? So, what will you do here? You will analyze the second derivative, right? So, that's where many students make a mistake. Uh, and part E is sketch the graph of the function explaining the end behavior. End behavior here is very important since you know we have a confined environment since it's an island, right? So, there, uh, what should be the behavior? And this is excellent model for that. So, I hope you have understood the question and you appreciate what we're trying to do here. Let's look into the solution of this now. So, let's begin with the initial value uh, that is uh, simple substitution. We are given the population function P as equals to 2500. You might need calculator okay, for some of these calculations, not this one, of course, for e to the power of minus 0 0.1 T. What was the population in the year 2010? So, study is being done since 2010. So, in 2010, the value of T should be 0, correct? Substitute 0 for t, and so what do you get? You get 2500 over 1 plus 4 e to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is known to you as 1, right? So 2500 over 1 plus 4, which is 5. And so now you can calculate the value, which is 2500 over 5. So we get what? 500. So, we can say there were about 500 moves in 2010, right? So, our answer will be 500. <coughs> so, we will say there were about, the population in year 2010 was 500 moves, right? 
So, 500 moves in 2010. Perfect. So, let's move on and take up the next one, which is kind of a reverse calculation, right? After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. <laughs> Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. In which year the population reached 2000? So, in 2010, there were only 500. Then, when did they reach 2000? That's what we figure out. So, that means in the formula, P now becomes 2000, correct? And we need to figure out what is time, T. So, 2500 divided by 1 plus 4, e to the power of minus 0.1 T, right? To solve this equation, I should cross multiply. Makes sense, right? So, we'll have 1 plus 4, e to the power of minus 0.1 T should be equal to 2500 divided by 2000. So, you can simplify this, right? And uh, if you want, you can calculate the value, correct? So, 1.25. Now, isolate P. So, so, we can say 4 times e to the power of minus 0.1 T will be equal to 1.25 minus 1, which is 0 0.25, correct? So, we'll further divide by 4. So, we get e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t equals to 0 0.25 is 1 over 4, right? So, we can write like this. Actually, the fractions are better, right? So, let me put that in fractions, perfect. So, there's also a quarter. So, we 1 over 16 we get, correct? Okay. How do we solve this equation? So, you take natural log on both the sides. Perfect. So, so when you take natural log on both sides, you get minus 0 0.1 t equals to ln 1 over 16. Correct? And therefore, t will be equals to ln 1 over 16 divided by minus 0 0.1. Right? That gives you uh, t. So, let's take a calculator to figure this out. So, we get what? We get uh, ln 1 divided by 16 and then we are going to divide this by minus 0 0.1, right? So, the answer here is uh, 27.72. So, the question is, in which year the population reached, right? So, after 27 years it reached, so on 28th year, correct? So, reached 2000. So, we started at 2120, right? So, to get the answer, we'll add 2010, we'll add 28 years, right? It should not be reached, will reach, it should be, right? So, when you add 20, you get 2038, right? So, in the year 2038, the population will reach 2000 as per these calculations. Perfect. So, that is where we are. Uh, now, let's move on to the next question. Now, these are also critical points which will help us to sketch our graph. Perfect. Okay. Now, we look into the derivatives. So, excellent example. See how we are working with exponential function, natural law, right? And now, the growth rate means first derivative, right? So, the question is, find the growth rate of the population in the year 2020. So, basically, we need to find what the derivative of this function is and 2020 means what? t equals to 10, right? So, which means t equals to 10, correct? Okay. So, let's find the derivative. So, dp dt will be, we can write like 
prime equals to apply the quotient rule right so when you apply the quotient rule the derivative of 2500 is zero so you get minus so and you could also write so we get minus 2500 times the derivative of this function so derivative of this function will be minus 0 0.1 t times 4 so i am writing here as minus 0 0.4 right and e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t clear Right. divided by 1 plus 4 e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t whole square. Make sense? So, we have applied the quotient rule square of the denominator derivative of 2500 times this which is 0 minus 2500 times derivative of this function. Right. So, derivative of this function will be 4 times minus 0 0.1 t. So, I have written uh, minus 0 0.4, right, 0 0.1 times 4, e to the power of whatever it was, correct. So, that becomes the derivative and now we have to plug in 10 to find the population uh, rate of growth in 2020. So, after 10 years, correct. So, when you plug in 10, you get what? You get minus 2500. Well, you can multiply these two, right. 0. 0.4 times 2500 you can multiply so you get plus right so 0. 0.4 means 1 0 goes 4 times 250 means 1000 e to the power of minus and we are substituting 10 here over 1 plus 4 e to the power of minus 10 means this will become just minus 1 right whole square you get the idea, right? So, we have substitute t equals to 10. And now, let us calculate using the calculator. So, we have 1000 times e to the power of, we get this as 60.22. So, so the growth rate in 2020 is 60.22, right? So, that becomes the rate at which the population is growing in 2020. So, I hope you have understood how do we find the growth rate and growth rate at a particular time. Here, you will also notice that this is always positive, right? So, you will see that this is always greater than 0. 0, right? Always positive means always increasing. Perfect. Now, let us move on and analyze the second derivative, which will actually give us what? Maximum growth rate, right? So, we have found that the first derivative is, let us rewrite. 1000 e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t over 1 plus 4 e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t whole square, correct? So, that was the first derivative which we just found and now the question is, in which year was the growth rate population maximum? growth rate population is maximum means we have to find the second derivative, right? So, let us find the second derivative of the population growth. So, derivative of the numerator will be what? 1000 times, let us rewrite. So, we have 1000 times minus 0 0.1 times e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t times the denominator we are using the quotient rule, right? 0 0.1 t, which is square. Right? So, that is the first term. And then, second term will be minus 1000 e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t times the derivative of denominator, which is 2 times 1 plus 4 
e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t times the derivative of inside function means 4 times this which is minus 0 0.4 times e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t clear then all this will be divided by square of denominator which is 1 plus 4 e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t to the power of 4 clear so there's less space here so you know it doesn't really look so neat however it does convey the message right so you find the second derivative and now equate this second derivative to 0 because we are interested in finding the critical number. So, when you equate to 0, basically we are equating numerator to 0 to get the answer. So, let's factor out the common terms, right? So, if you look into this, common terms will be what? So, let's highlight the common terms. V1000 can be taken as common times point this, right? e to the power of minus 0. Point you can also be taken common, right? So, that means I am taking all this common, correct? And one of these terms. So, out of square, one of them. So, all this comes common, correct? So, let us take common and then we will equate it to 0. So, it is good to take minus also common. So, in the first term, minus 1000 times minus 0 0.1 gives me 100. And I am taking e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t times 1 plus 4 e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t as common. Correct? So, inside we are left with what? Well, we took everything common here. So, we are left with this particular term which is 1 plus 4 e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t. Correct? And in the second term, we get 2 times Four, right? Because point four has been taken care of. Two times four is eight. So, so that becomes minus eight e to the power of minus zero point one. Is that clear to you? Of course, it was divided by one plus four e to the power of minus zero point one t to the power of four. But when we are equating to zero, the numerator should be zero. Numerator 0 means this term should be 0, right? So, we will equate this term to 0 now, correct? So, which is uh, 4 e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t and minus 6, I, I can actually combine them. So, 4 minus 8 will give me 1 minus. Let me write again. 1 minus 4 e to the power of minus 0 0.1 t equals to 0. Is that clear to you? So, 1, 4 e to the power of this and minus will give me this. So, that gives you that 4 e to the power of minus 1, 0 0.1 t equals to 1. Correct. Right? So, so from here, you can actually get your result and that gives you. Now, since this is minus, I could always write e to the power of 0 0.1 t equals to 4, right? Well, this is 1 over 4 and we can take ln both sides. Okay? So, when you take natural log both sides, I get ln 4 so, here it is 0 0.1 t equals to ln 4. Is that okay? So, that becomes the equation. And now, the value of t will be ln 4 divided by 0 0.1, which is 10 times ln 4. Is that okay? So, let us take it to the next page. So, let me rewrite. So, what we have here is 
zero point one t equals to four, ln four, right? Or t equals to one over zero point one ln four, which is same as t equals to ten ln four. So let's use calculator to find the value of ten ln four. It gives you thirteen point eight six. Correct. So, in which year was the growth rate of population maximum? So, it is fourteen years after, right? So, maximum growth rate will be twenty ten plus fourteen, correct? Which is twenty twenty four, correct? So, twenty twenty four, there will be maximum growth rate. So, that is what our answer is for this particular question. Now, see, we got a very important information here. You could also analyze whether it is uh, really the maximum or not, right? So, getting back to the second derivative, which is actually the first derivative of growth, right? If you have this particular function here, you see it changes from positive to negative, right? So, we have got minus outside all this right. So, if you analyze, you will find that it is maximum. Correct? So, we got this growth rate of maximum. So, I will leave that exercise for you. So, I am writing here analyze the second derivative this time for maximum. Perfect. So, that is where we are. Now, let us try to graph the function. So, I hope all this is absolutely clear. So, let us uh, go back once again and see what we did. So, we got the derivative of this function which was positive and from this derivative, we found the second derivative which actually is the rate of change of growth and the critical number obtained was for 1 minus 4 e to the power minus 0 equals to 2 as 4 all this, right. So, we got t as a critical number taking log natural log both sides 13.86 means 14th year perfect now let's try to graph this so initial value we just found let me just uh, make a rough sketch here and we'll write down all the information which we have so, let us also try to understand when you graph this, if t approaches large amount, infinitely large, correct? In that case, what really happens? In that case, the value of p will approach what? 2500 over 1 plus 4 times. So, if t is very large, this will be 0, right? So, which is basically 2500. So, that becomes your horizontal asymptote, right? And therefore, I am just drawing a line here, which signifies the maximum value, which in this case will be 2500. Is that clear to you? Now, we also found that initially P0 was 500. That we also found that the maximum growth rate was at T equals to 40. Now, maximum growth rate actually gives you change in concavity. So, that gives you change in concavity. And therefore, the graph could be drawn like this. Do you see that? Where this point, which is change in concavity, will be at 13.8, I am writing 14 here. Is that okay? And you can always find the value. So, plug in 14 here and find your value. Okay? So, so, P of 14 will give you 
2500 over 1 plus 4 e to the power of minus when you multiply this by 14 minus 1.4 correct so that is equal to 2500 divided by within brackets 1 plus 4 times e to the power of 1.4 so at this time the population is 1258 right so that is how you could actually graph your information beginning from 500 we had one more value earlier when is it 2000 right so, population in 2000 was at 2038, right? So, after 27 years. So, after 27 years, somewhere here, we can say the population was around 2000. Correct? So, that will be the graph for you. Perfect. Where this is time in years since 2010 and the other thing is moves population right in numbers so i hope this uh, is absolutely clear you can see that the graph is always increasing right so we know that the derivative is greater than zero right? it's always increasing the trend and that becomes the point of inflection on your function perfect so, that is how we could actually solve this particular question, extremely important from test point of view. You see how we analyze the population of moose in the given confined habitat. It rapidly increases initially and now when the resources are limited, then it like tapers down. It will taper down to the maximum limit which is given by the numerator here. 2500 over a period of time. So, I hope with this you have understood the complete concept of how to work with such real life situations. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, it would be great. And in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Also, check our website for the new updates. Thank you and all the best.